The CRV Turbo gets an all-new exterior design, arguably the biggest change. A bluff new nose should help the CRV Turbo shed the cute ute image associated with past versions. It's not just a styling trick. The latest CRV also has a longer wheelbase, a greater overall length, and a fractional increase in width. It has just about grown into the footprint of the original Honda Pilot. The wheelbase, in fact, is identical. No wonder it looks all grown up. The CRV continues to seat just five, though it does so in a roomy, airy cabin. The rear seat in the outgoing CRV Turbo was already one of the most spacious in the segment and Honda has added a bit more legroom this year. The new CRV's interior is also free of the frustrations that can arise from weird or wonky switchgear. The shifter has moved from the lower dash in the outgoing model to a more normal position in the center console, and we're glad to say it remains a traditional shift lever rather than a dial or a toggle. The climate controls are three simple dials, with the vents neatly integrated into the dash trim. All models now have partially screen-based instrumentation and Apple and Android phone mirroring. The X gets a 7.0-inch touchscreen with volume and tuning knobs, while the XL upgrades to a larger 9.0-inch display but sacrifices the tuning knob. Plentiful storage space makes life easy. And despite being only mid-tier in the CRV's 5 trim hierarchy, RXL's interior had a handsome if straightforward design and quality materials. The CRV Turbo is no track star but it feels responsive and composed when compared with other small SUVs. The hybrid sport touring model we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.0 seconds. That's typical for the class, and you can expect a similar time for the regular 1.5-liter engine. The CRV Turbo EX and EXL variants will get an updated version of the 1.5-liter VTEC turbo engine which Honda claims is better refined while providing improved emissions performance. Notable enhancements to the four-cylinder mill include a new high-efficiency, high-response turbocharge as well as a four-to-two exhaust port-cylinder head. Outputs remain unchanged despite these revisions, with the engine churning out 190 horsepower, 193 phosphorus monosulfide, and 243 newton-meters of torque although these arrive at different engine speeds compared to before. In the case of peak horsepower, it now arrives 400 revolutions per minute later at 6,000 revolutions per minute, 